Sorry, WGN, we're celebrating 75 years on the air, oh, oh. and it marks this major milestone. We are catching up with some of the most notable people who have helped us to make Chicago's very own. Legendary newsman Robert Jordan first joined WGN in 1973 and what? spent nearly all of his 43 years in TV news here before retiring in 2016. Welcome back. Thank you. I thought you were going to say that I was here 75 years ago <laughs> no. when they started the station. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well, we have missed you since you've been gone. It's great to have you back in the building. Thank you. It's How's good it to be back. How's it feel to be here? It's great. There are a lot of new faces, but I still see uh, some familiar ones. Steve Novak was walking around, and Jeanette, and yeah. lots of other folks uh, that I and I haven't even been in the newsroom. So. Yeah. Well, it hasn't changed much. Yeah. No, it hasn't. Right. That's for sure. Yeah. Now, you are one of those faces of WGM that are instantly recognizable and associated with the station. What was it like when you first started here? Well, when I started in 73, um, there were no women in the newsroom. Oh. There was one black female um, and one cameraman, Gloria Brown and Richard Isaacs. Wow. Oh. And, 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 and Ike is still well, here. And Ike is still here, yeah. right. Um, so uh, over the years, I mean, it's changed to the point where there are more females in the newsroom now than males. Mm -hmm. And as there is, uh, that's the case in journalism across the board. Mm -hmm. At news conferences, you'll see more females than males. And we're looking at some of your old videos here. You yeah. loved the stand-up. The stand -up, you love the stand-up. You would always incorporate something new or different to tell your stories. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's it helps to be able to explain the story. Oh my goodness. Look at <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> Um, to be able to explain the story too, that was the coldest day of my life right there. Yeah, when we were I remember in Washington. that hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, there we go. Oh, there there we go. happens to all of us, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have yes. a favorite oh, story oh, that you remember? A favorite? Yeah, or oh, one that really you know, kind of stuck get, with you? I get asked that from time to time of a favorite story um i'm sure I, I mean i know i've forgotten which ones i've done yeah you know? the ones that stick with you yeah. i mean you had mentioned when we this, talked on the phone the sharon Chicago stop flood. asking me when i got home what did you do today because i could never remember what i did two hours early <laughs> yeah. let alone what i did yesterday yeah. That's you had the way mentioned the chicago flood the great chicago right. flood is something that stuck out to you um that unbelievably horrible story of the woman who had the baby cut out of right. her oh womb. gosh yeah. yes in um, addison illinois yeah and, and the baby lived yes yeah. Um, the tornado. Oh yeah, the Barneville tornado. I'll mm -hmm. never forget. We went there, and then we went back and visited uh, Barneville again at 30 or 40 years later. And um, town is rebuilt, but that particular day in Wisconsin, it was just shattered. Uh, it was just amazing what that tornado had done. Mm -hmm. And so we've covered all kinds of disasters over the years and um, seen. Um, some amazing stories. Back then, though, when we went, uh, became a super station, WGN could be seen all over this yeah. hemisphere. Yeah, right. And I'll never forget some times that were memorable. I was in Belize up in the mountains mm. and uh, just doing some hiking. And the television station there sent a reporter and uh, someone from radio all the way up they tracked me down what? in the mountains because my being there was a big deal wow it was a big deal because they were the biggest cubs fans in the world <laughs> in belize and they i did a 15 minute newscast from 1 to 115 and then there was the leadoff man at 115 yeah and so they the big they they'd see me every day leading into the cubs baseball game and that was the way it was um, up, you know, all across the hemisphere, you could travel across the country and people would recognize you uh, because so many people watched WGN. Yeah, it's expanded so much because I remember it was just the morning show and then there was a noon right. show and then the nine and now there's, you know, so much news. I remember I, President Clinton was in town and I went over to his press aide and said, uh, would you ask the president if I could get him for a one-on-one? -on -one? He walked over and saw him asking the president and he looked over at us and did like that and said, sure, I'll do it. And he came over and he, uh, we did this one-on-one -on -one interview. All the other reporters in town were crazy. 
because we had him. He said, you know, I, I, I watch WGN <laughs> ah, uh, in Little Rock. Isn't that something? So that name carries. Yeah. Okay, so something you guys went viral for, meaning you yeah. and Jackie, your co-anchor, was this handshake that you all right. used to do in the commercial. It on our first as, commercial break. Yeah, it started as what? Like a little, just one little thing? Well, yeah, it started just uh, kind of, we would... <laughs> Boy, that is amazing. Because you guys just we kept adding on to it, right? I had lunch with Jackie uh, a few, a couple of weeks ago, and, and we agreed we couldn't do that now if, if you paid us a million dollars. Wow. But it was long, and it did. Oh, it went uh, all the way through the break. It grew and grew and grew after, <laughs> after we started. And it was a way for us, the first segment, as you know, has all of the carnage and yeah. sad mm -hmm. stories. Mm -hmm. And we would find ourselves going, how you kind of let down after the first, after that first break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this was a way for us to let off steam. And, um... <laughs> that is so funny. It's still going, 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 it's going, 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 going. <laughs> it goes on forever. And it finally stops and, um, that's... <laughs> so real quickly before we let you go, because yes. I know people at home are wondering, what are you what? doing now? Well, taking care of my daughter Karen, uh, who's on seven, and her husband Christian's on five, yeah. and they st so they have crazy TV hours. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, we, Sharon and I, I keep the kids, and then I have and my kids. own production mm -hmm. company. We do video biographies for families, mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that keeps me. And busy. you're going to sell that Fountain of Youth that you have right. going on over uh, there at your exactly. house. Uh, you look uh, great. Uh, yes. How you feeling? I feel terrific. I'm very no wood around anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Look at your forehead. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I feel great. I'm very blessed uh, to feel so good and everything. And you guys look wonderful. I oh, watch you every oh, every you. other day when I can. Checks in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> so good to it's see you. It's good to see you. Thank, thank you for inviting me on. Oh, we love no, having you back. No, thank you for coming in yeah. and taking sure. some time. Anytime. Absolutely. So good to see you. Yeah. You too. All right.